look at the path of Dharma, we see that what we often call evolution does not come from fixing the world. Usually we see evolution in a linear way, but in a world that is dynamic and expressive, there is no linear progress. This is why the human condition is described as a circle, traditionally known as samsara. Let me explain. So there's this classical story from the sutras about Gotami and the mustard seed. You might have heard this story before. So in the story, Gotami comes to the Buddha clutching the dead body of her infant in her arms, and she pleads to the Buddha, please bring him back to me. Please do something. Fix this. And the Buddha is very touched by, by her grief, and he promises that he will do something, if, but she has to do something first. She has to go to every home in the village that she lives in and collect a single mustard seed from anyone who has not known someone who has died. So she sets out, and of course she comes back empty-handed because everyone has experienced loss. But in the process of looking for this mustard seed, she moves from I am suffering to there is suffering. The Buddha's message is clear that there is no cure for old age, sickness, and death, that the human condition cannot be fixed. But Gotami, in the process of looking, had a liberation. She was touched by the human condition, and through admitting the truth of unfixability into her awareness, she could heal, awaken. Another way we respond to the human predicament is we get overwhelmed. I think we all know this when we turn on the news and we're hit with this sense of heaviness and depression. There's so much suffering. How do we bear it? And so we move from belief to doubt. Um, and we suddenly realize we can't fix life after all and we feel extremely ineffective. It's as if life is happening to us, like we're too small for our own life. Trying to fix or getting overwhelmed by life are two ways we turn away from the human predicament. But Gotami's liberation suggests another way. It suggests that when we let life touch us, we can directly engage our world. In other words, it is through relationship that we move out of a contracted sense of self. The genius of this approach is that we don't have to get rid of the ego at all. In fact, all we have to do is make our ego big enough to include others and make them the recipient of the love and care we feel for ourselves. 